The wet nurse is a great one who is seemingly sustaining Mergo. The lamp atop Mergo's loft that spawns where the wet nurse was fought is called the wet nurse's linarium. Mergo is never met in game, but is likely the child of Yarnum, the Myrian queen and her liaison with a great one. Because the baby's cries can be heard during the blood moon, and because there is a pram in the boss room of Mergo's wet nurse but no child is ever seen, it may be that Mergo is the child of formless Eden. Mergo's wet nurse is a strange towering creature with six skeletal arms and two black tattered wings. Strangely enough, the appearance of this being appears to be rather Thamerian, despite its bizarre features, with its long, black, hooded dress and various jewels. It has the power of creating a pocket dimension with multiple copies of itself and is able to teleport. But at close range it uses six curved swords with surprising speed and range as its limbs stretch out and spin in a devastating manner, shredding enemies who get caught in the flurry of slices. Mergo's wet nurse is a great one who inhabits the nightmare of Menses residing in a linarium known as the wet nurse's linarium atop the larger of the two nightmare cathedrals. There is no written or spoken lore about Mergo's wet nurse, and any conclusions about the entity known as Mergo's wet nurse must be drawn from contextual and circumstantial evidence. When the player approaches the wet nurse's linarium for the first time they are able to hear the sounds of a baby's cry emanating from the pram in the center of the circular area. Upon approaching the pram Mergo's wet nurse will drop down from the sky and stoop over to cover the pram with its wings, silencing the baby's more immediate cries. With six of its eight arms, the wet nurse then draws what appear to be burial blades in order to attack. The wet nurse's appearance and reaction to the player seem like the response of a protector or caretaker for the baby that was in the cradle. Given that the wet nurse is the wet nurse for Mergo, and that wet nurses are only a required role for taking care of a baby. We can safely assume that the baby in the cradle is Mergo and that the wet nurse is attempting to protect Mergo from any harm that may come to it. The Nightmare of Menses contains a significant amount of references to Mergo. Mergo's attendants and chief attendants roam the halls just below the linarium. The smaller attendants seem to resemble court jesters, with their almost comical appearance and mask helmets which resemble jesters' hats. The chief attendants with their wide girth seem to resemble maids and helper women who could attend to household chores. The winter lanterns, while grotesque in appearance, can be heard singing a tune out of key. This tune may be some sort of lullaby perhaps one intended to soothe the crying baby. These creatures all seem to serve a purpose within the nightmare, attending on Mergo. The presence of these creatures indicate that the nightmare of Menses is linked to Mergo, implying that the nightmare is Mergo's domain and that the wet nurse is one of the creatures that inhabits that domain. Mergo, then, must be a very important baby in considering the large household of servants, perhaps even one of royal birth. One third umbilical cord Mergo's wet nurse description states. A great relic, also known as the cord of the eye. Every infant great one has this precursor to the umbilical cord. Every great one loses its child, and then yearns for a surrogate. This cord granted Menses an audience with Mergo, but resulted in the stillbirth of their brains. Used to gain insight and, so they say, eyes on the inside, although no one remembers what that truly entails. The school of Menses, whose actions led to the nightmare becoming accessible, were attempting to contact Mergo. And in Michael Ash's words be granted eyes, to have eyes planted on their brains in order to cleanse them of their beastly idiocy, and allow them to ascend into something more than human as Ram once did. In order to do so the school conducted a ritual. This ritual beckoned the blood moon closer and allowed Menses to gain audience with Mergo. Mergo lacks physical form. The baby was never actually born, but instead it would seem that it was stillborn, physically perishing within its mother's womb. This is perhaps why Mergo lacks any kind of perceivable physical form, instead existing as a slumbering consciousness only heard through a voice, that of a crying baby. Mergo's consciousness was awoken, but it was infantile and underdeveloped. Like any baby who is woken abruptly from a deep sleep, Mergo's first inclination was to cry. Special babies act as lures to other great ones and Mergo's harrowing cry from within the nightmare drew the blood moon closer. 
Whatever the details of what happened next are we do not know, but the audience of Menses with Mergo resulted in the stillbirth of their brains, ending their life, at least in human form and mass. The ritual conducted by Menses seems to be the cause of the hunt as the baby was left to cry without recourse. Where the wet nurse itself comes from is completely obscure. It appears to be called into existence upon approaching the pram of Mergo. If we think about the role of a wet nurse in reality, their job is to feed a baby, providing safety and comfort. The other bosses of Bloodborne fit into the world, existing in the places where they are expected to be based on the lore surrounding them. But Mergo's wet nurse seems to appear out of nowhere, never being mentioned by any character or text prior to encountering it. These facts, along with the following physical characteristics don't seem to add up. The wet nurse resembles a crow and is very reminiscent of Eileen's crow feather garb, an outfit worn by the hunter of hunters for each generation. Also the wet nurse wields weaponry that resembles Garman's burial blades and the blades of mercy. These weapons are both formed of siderite which is said to be a mineral of the heavens. This seems to indicate that the wet nurse has something to do with the origins of the hunter of hunters and the hunters themselves. That somehow Garman and his colleagues encountered it during the days of Burgenworth. If this was the case, then what was the point of Menses contacting Mergo? Burgenworth likely already did it. The illogical and seemingly random connections here can perhaps be put down to the from software artists liking the design, rather than an in-game lore connection. Despite being supported by something, there is nothing visible under the wet nurse's hood. This does not mean the nurse is formless, however as arms covered in feathers can be seen wielding its arsenal of blades. The wet nurse does not bleed blood. When struck, a vapor-like substance is ripped from it, and the same sound effect used when hitting the ghostly maidens of Canehurst plays. The wet nurse is able to duplicate itself seemingly infinitely. This seems to fit with the idea that the Murgo's wet nurse is an apparition, a creature being called down before the player's eyes by something else. After defeating Murgo's wet nurse the player can hear the baby's cries resume, and then quieten down till the point where gentle snores can be heard. Murgo has returned to its slumber. The baby evidently seeks comfort, a means of going back to sleep. Perhaps in order to try to achieve this it manufactured a companion, a protector and soother, the wet nurse. From within the corpse of Kos its orphan is able to manufacture a body, one that is powerful and capable of defending both it, and its mother's corpse. The orphan itself exists only as a faint ghostly presence, still bound to its mother's still body. If this is possible with the orphan of Kos, then Mergo, being the baby of a great one, should be similarly powerful. Though simply speculation, the evidence could certainly be construed this way. Another theory about its origin states that the wet nurse is Mergo, or was created by Mergo. The wet nurse drops a third of umbilical cord. Ariana's story shows us that when you kill her child it drops an umbilical cord. The pram or baby carriage at the top of the nightmare of Menses is empty, indicating that the baby is either formless or that the cry is emanating from somewhere else, perhaps above. The cry of the baby can be heard throughout the fight. The wet nurse does not bleed, rather it has the exact same sound effect and bleed effect, which looks like smoke as the Canehurst spirits, indicating that it is not entirely physical but rather an apparition. The wet nurse is able to create seemingly infinite copies of itself from within the nightmarish purple smoke it creates during the battle with it. A similar effect which can be seen when opening the door from the lecture building to the nightmare of Menses and Nightmare Frontier. These copies again indicate that the wet nurse is not a being of flesh and blood, but rather a projection or creation. A possible explanation for the wet nurse being Mergo, or more likely. A being created by Mergo is that Mergo needed its mother but she was not able to be there for it, so it created the wet nurse to take care of it. The orphan of Kos, though seemingly unborn, was still able to create a physical form in which to defend itself from within the nightmare. So it may be that Mergo is essentially doing the same, though perhaps at a weaker level due to its shared heritage of being born to a Thamerian rather than a legitimate great one.